The closure of Albuquerque's Movies 8 Theater was just one of many to leave big empty buildings off San Mateo, north of Montgomery. It wasn't unexpected. This was a dollar theater that was showing movies that were already a few months old and all of us had access to on Netflix and Hulu. Left with load bearing walls and slanted floors, it was hard for developers to find someone to move in. But now the building is getting fresh life with renovations planned by Icon Cinema, which already has a location off Central and Tramway. When you're looking at expanding, how many vacant movie theaters are there available in the city? The revived movie theater isn't the only business getting a facelift on the large plot of land. Earlier this year, Dion's announced plans to move their commissary into the old 53,000 square foot its building that closed in 2016. For what we thought was going to be an issue with the kitchen and the pizza oven ended up being a selling point for them. The restaurant also decided to buy the lots east and west of the building with plans to open a maintenance building and a new restaurant location, creating a Dion's corporate campus. Goodman Realty Group says they're also working to turn the old buffet behind Hooters that's been shuttered for 15 years into a ghost kitchen, creating multiple mini kitchens inside for businesses operating online via delivery. So when you go to DoorDash or Grubhub, you could see a Shake Shack, an In-N-Out, um, a Joe's Crab Shack and order their menu as if they were here without them needing to necessarily be here and it allows them to enter the market slowly. With any luck, developers hope this will become the next it spot in Albuquerque. We hope that this is a spot that you can go to without having to go to a downtown or an uptown, but you could go to a midtown.